Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. Have I got a very pretty palette to share with you guys today. It comes to us from Ladybug Glow Cosmetics and this is their new Pond Lily palette. This palette dropped today and it does retail for $37.50. I do have a discount code, an affiliate code. It is Steph and that will give you 10% off of your order. Right now they are doing free US shipping on all orders. So definitely check this out. If this looks like a color story you're gonna want to get in your stash I will say I have had some really great experiences with ladybug glow cosmetics in the past they have a very nice formula and I am just looking forward to seeing what the brand has to offer us moving into 2023 2024 and beyond they do sell their stuff on Etsy so it is limited quantities that they do produce but as I'm filming this video right now it is in stock and hopefully by the time you're watching this video, in case you want this palette, you'll still be able to pick it up. I'm going to be creating two looks for you guys. And if you want to see how they all turn out, keep on watching. So I've already primed my eyelids with the Sugar Drizzle Eyeshadow Primer. And here's what this gorgeous palette looks like. I love this color story. This color story looks so, so pretty. This like periwinkle blue up here, which is why I'm tying in a little bit of a lavender lip with uh, the looks I'm going to create. I think I want to start here. I think I really want to start with this one. And this one is named after the palette. It is shade Pond Lily. And I'm taking Pond Lily on a game beauty. Beauty E01. And I'm going to start packing that in the crease and taking it all the way to the end. Okay, so I think that is a beautiful blue shade. Now I think I'm going to deepen it up with this shade over here. This one is called Iris. And I'm taking Iris on a rougher 14, and I'm going to focus that right here on the outer corner as well as the lower part of the crease. I think those shades are blending really nicely with one another. Now I don't know how I'm feeling about my purple lipstick. <laughs> I thought it was a good idea at the moment and I might end up changing it before the end of the video. We'll see. And in case you're wondering which one it is, it is this one from Urban Decay. It is their Vice Lip Bond in the shade Solo Player. All right, so I am itching to use these two shades. So I think that's what I'm going to do a combination of on the lid. Actually, I think I'll place this one all over the lid and then do this for the center and the inner corner. And I'm taking this shade on a damp Morphe M709. It's really pretty. The different shifts that you can see in that one. Like a purple and pink shift. Beautiful, very smooth, no glitter primer either. All right, now I'm going to pick up that other shade. This shade is a little bit more textured. It's not as smooth as the first shade that I just applied. And I am going to spray it with a brush, same brush. The shade is called Lotus. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. I'm going to keep that in the center and then definitely put that, wow, in the inner corner. Now I'm taking Lotus on a damp BK210. Now I'm going to go in with this shade Bog for the lower lash line, and I'm going to use a BK207. I guess the purple lip does tie in with this look. What do you guys think? Hey guys, I'm going to pop off camera, do some finishing touches, and I will be right back to show you this completed look number one. Okay guys, so here's a completed look number one. The mascara I'll be using in today's video is the Rare Beauty Mascara. For lashes, I am using the Style Martini in the BK Beauty and Risa Does Makeup collaboration. For the lower waterline, I went in with uh, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil. This one is in the shade Raw Energy. 
And I tight lined the top lash line with, of course, my Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Skinny Liquid Liner. And I love the way this look turned out. This look definitely, I think, goes with the purple lippy. Let's see if the second look is going to go with that shade as well. Uh, but let's move over to the left eye and we'll start working on look number two. So for look two, you know I have to play with the greens. I have to, have to play with the greens. So I am going to start with this green shade and yeah i'm just gonna work that in the crease i might end up going into this shade again which is what i have on the lower lash line to help deepen it up a little bit but i really want to work with this shade and this shade over here so there might be like one or two shades that i don't get to use but i do plan plan on filming with this palette again uh, to do like an instagram reel and youtube short that way i can give you guys a third look so i'm taking the shade lily pad on a bk beauty 211 brush and i'm just gonna start building that in the crease Okay, so I'm loving this green. I think it is so, so pretty. I think we need to deepen it up a little bit. So I'm going to go back in with the shade Bog. Actually, you know what? Maybe I can try a different shade. I think I can do Water Lily. This deep purple, I think that would work too. Let's do that one. That way I can try um, as many mattes as possible. Or as many shades as possible, I should say. I'm just using the same brush. I, I might be able to use the majority of the shades in this palette with these two looks. I think I'll be able to use all of the mattes. There might just be one or two shimmers I don't get to dip into. Those are blending really well on top of one another. I'm going to have to add back some of the green. Going back in with Lily Pad. Now, this is a very smooth shade, and I think this is one of the duochromes in the palette. This one is called Tadpole. I'm taking the shade on a Morphe M709. Very smooth shade. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Ooh, now I feel like I lost the purple. <laughs> I'm going to add back a little bit of Water Lily. Now we're going to go in with Dragonfly. And I'm going to focus Dragonfly mainly on the center. This is a more textured shade than the first shimmer I laid down. And that is stunning. Wow. I think this is $37.50 less the discount code. I think this palette is well worth its price tag. Okay. Loving it. Now, I'm going to do the shade. This is the only matte shade I haven't used yet. Algae for the lower lash line. I'm taking Algae on a BK210. bit of a grungy shade. Now on that same brush, I'm picking up the shade Water Lily, which was that matte purple. And I'm just going to keep this really close to the lash line. Now for the inner corner, I think I'm going to do the shade Salamander, this one right here. So this shade down here is going to be the only one I don't get to use, and that is called uh, Cattails. Same BK210 brush. I did spray it with some MAC Fix Plus. Cute. Okay, guys, I'm going to pop off camera, do those finishing touches, and then I will be right back to show you this completed look number two. So here is the completed look number two. Same everything. I did change lippies. I went in with the Rare Beauty Lip Souffle in the shade. Uh, I believe it is Elevate. Yeah, in the shade Elevate. Um, for the lower waterline, I thought an orange might be fun. So I went in with this e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick. This one is in the shade Groovy. 
I love the way both of these looks turned out. There was only one shade that I didn't get to use in this palette, but let me go ahead and wrap up today's video, and I'll share with you guys my final thoughts on the new Ladybug Glow Cosmetics Pond Lily Palette. So the Pond Lily Palette from Ladybug Glow Cosmetics, it did drop today, retails for $37.50. You are getting 12 different shades. I forgot to tell you, like, the makeup of the palette. So in here, you're getting um, six blendable mattes, five duochrome shifty sparkly shades and one smooth multi-chrome which it is this one over here that is the smoothest shimmer in all of the palette I thought that this palette performed really well. I am excited about Ladybug Glow Cosmetics. The other two palettes that I've tried from them in the past have been really, really good. I will have my Ladybug Glow Cosmetics playlist linked in a pinned comment in case you want to get some inspiration for some of those other palettes. Um, this is a very small up-and-coming indie brand here in the U.S. Amanda, the owner, was kind enough to gift me this palette in peace are so thank you so much Amanda if you want to shop this palette or anything over at the Ladybug Glow Cosmetics website um, you can use my code Steph and that will give you 10% off of your order guys I didn't experience like any fallout with this palette and all I was doing was spraying my brush I thought that the mattes were blendable and buildable that's the most important thing I think it's just a really pretty color story a unique color story that definitely represents shades that you would find in a Pond. I think the cover art is really cute and congratulations to Amanda on another great palette from Ladybug Glow Cosmetics. Let me know guys which look was your favorite. Are you team one, team two, none, all? Sound off in the comments down below. Let me know if this palette Pond Lily is going to be in your future. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated guys, drink your water, and I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye.